Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sunny Lee and today I'll be talking about three exciting features of the iPhone 12 as well as three letdowns. Let's get to it. So as for the first letdown, no USB Type-C. Android has been doing USB Type-C for five years now. Clearly in 2020, it's the standard. Even iPads and MacBooks are doing it. Heck, if Apple really wants to save the earth, they should really just get rid of lightning and just convert all of the lightning accessories to USB Type-C. For me, the Type-C is quite the deal breaker, but for many people out there, probably existing iPhone users, they're not gonna mind having lightning. Up next is no ProMotion. By ProMotion, I mean the fast refresh rate screen. In a world where phones are moving to high refresh rate screens, I think this was a mistake for Apple. If you saw MKBHD's video on this $250 Infinix smartphone. Even mid-range Android phones have high refresh rate screens now. Android has been doing high refresh rate screens since 2017. Three years later and still no high refresh rate screens on iPhone. Then again, I think it should be fine because iPhones tend to feel smooth anyway, so it just would have been a nice step forward. And number three, no charger in the box. This should be fine for existing iPhone users as they already have these charging bricks that are USB Type-C to Lightning. It should be difficult for Android users to jump ship because from my experience, most Android charging bricks are type A. And so those were the three letdowns of the iPhone 12. Up next, here are three exciting features of the iPhone 12. First exciting feature is the new build. The new display and build seem very nice. The display should theoretically crack four times less when dropped. If you drop your phone one time before, you can sort of drop it four times before it cracks. Or if you used to drop your phone and it cracks on the second time, now it should crack on the eighth time. <laughs> I don't know. The build quality looks nice and premium compared to last year's iPhone. The second exciting feature of the iPhone is MagSafe. Yeah, bitch! Magnets! Let's face it, magnets are cool. Obviously, this is Apple's way of creating a new market or ecosystem of accessories. Just like they did with the AirPods by killing the headphone jack and then they suddenly generated so much revenue in selling truly wireless earbuds and now it's a whole industry in its own. So I think this is what MagSafe is gonna be. But I'm not complaining because it could be the next step to the truly wireless, portless iPhone and that's pretty exciting to me. And as for the third most exciting feature of the iPhone 12, it's the 4K HDR 10-bit Dolby Vision video recording. One camera that does have 10-bit video recording is the A7S 3 which costs this much money. One thing I never liked about shooting video on smartphones, not just iPhones, but smartphones in general, is that you always see this sort of breathing, like very fast, twitchy sort of calculation of white balance and uh, exposure. And sometimes it also um, pulses for focus, that's always been a dead giveaway that something was recorded on a smartphone. Hopefully this 4K HDR 10-bit Dolby Vision recording solves that. Heck, it even won up the A7S 3 because the A7S 3 doesn't even have the Dolby Vision technology. As for my overall thoughts on the iPhone 12, I think it was still a relatively impressive release. In a world where we're reaching peak smartphone, and each new release is a very minor increment, I think Apple was still able to innovate quite a bit. There's obviously a lot of potential in smartphone and wearable integration, and I think Apple is killing it in this space. I think Apple comes up with innovative features and executes them really well so that people will actually use them and they don't just have these flashy features with poor execution. Apple products just work, and they work extremely well with each other. No fuss, and people can just go on with their slightly incrementally better lives. I think this is Apple's strongest suit. They can help people visualize what the future is, and they're selling this Apple ecosystem that if you get into it, everything works together, everything feels like the future, and you don't have to think about it too much, you know? It's no fuss, you can just go on with your life. And I think Apple does this the best like no other company can. And I think it's the biggest reason why anyone would ever consider jumping ship. As for me, not having Type-C and slightly the 60 FPS refresh rate of the screen is quite the deal breaker. And so there you have it. Those are the three exciting features of the iPhone 12 as well as three letdowns. If you like this video or you found it useful, please like the video, subscribe for more videos, and comment down below what you think of the iPhone 12. Do you agree with me? Do you have your reservations? You know, do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in that next video.
Thanks for watching.